Hey guys, how are we doing today? Today we are going to create this cute, cute, really cute tea towel dress for your oven stove or your dishwasher for your kitchen or even a little dress that you can design for the handle in your bathroom. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the materials. So these are the supplies you're going to need. Definitely a sewing machine, a pair of fabric scissors, your kitchen towels or tea towels or um, a terry cloth towels. You're going to need some craft 808 uh, stabilizer. You're going to need uh, copy paper so we could design our dress you have some ribbon and what else definitely your rotary cutter your scissors um, your ruler if you have a ruler definitely bring it in and I think definitely have your iron I have a mini heat iron from Cricut they call it a mini heat press but it's actually just a mini iron and now let's get started so first thing first we are going to do I'm gonna pull my terry cloths to the side and we're going to create our template so this is a eight and a half by eleven sheet of uh, copy paper and what I want you to do is fold it in half now make sure that this is even, okay guys? And then crease it and make sure that it's even and that looks good. And then you wanna take it again and fold it one more time, making sure that everything lines up even. And then I want you to crease. Next thing is, is that I want you to bring in your ruler and on the side that is the four open layers, you want to go three and a half inches from the bottom up. So I'm going to use my T ruler and mark three and a half. Then you want to mark one and a half inches in from the line. I mean, one inch, one inch, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me mark it this way so I have an even cut. And all you want to do there is just make a little mark. And then we are going to draw a line going all the way down. And that looks even. And then we're going to join the lines on the other side. So making sure that everything lines up. Now, after you make your line, okay, you want to measure one inch down from the top down. And you just want to make a little dot. One inch, okay? So now what you're going to do, you're going to get something round. Now, it could be a round plate. It could be either this uh, round ribbon spool that I have. And what you want to do is connect these two lines together and you want to have a half moon. So what you want to do is just line up the marks and then you want to come and make a curve, a half moon and there goes your design okay now what you want to do is come in and you can paper clip these together to keep it stable and then you want to cut this part out okay i'm going to take that out so you get a good cut okay and this is what your template <clears throat> the start of your template is going to look like. So when you open it up, this is what it is. Now, what you wanna do is, when you have your dresses and you make dresses, 
you know that the back part of your dress is always higher than the front part of your neck part, okay? This double-sided tape, and this right here should measure about three inches, just in the middle. And as you can see, it measures three inches. So now you wanna take this, take your ruler, and since this is three inches, you want to put the ruler in the middle of the design template that you just made at one and a half. Okay. So then you want to mark three over here. But what you want to do is mark two notches less. So two notches from the three on this side and two notches from the zero, okay? And you do the same with the other side. So you mark it at one and a half, and then two notch, and then two notch over here. Now what you wanna do is take your circle, and you want to try to line up, and I think that looks pretty decent well you know I want to make it a little bit in the back a little bit more so then you got this and what you want to do is just draw a circle all the way around okay okay so as you can see, when you fold it, you're gonna notice that the back part is much higher than the front. If I did that right. I might wanna go a little bit more. So let's see. Okay, so now that's a little bit better. So now what you wanna do is cut the circle out. So cut as much as you can right now of the front line, because as you can see, the back of it is a little bit longer. So then you wanna take this and you can fold it in half because you already got it creased. And then you can actually cut out. I'm gonna go around and trim off the circle. And before I go past the halfway point, I wanna clip this off. Okay? Now, to finish it off, turn it over, I mean, and cut the top one off. Okay, so now when you close it, as you can see, the back of the dress is much higher than the front. And it's just like a normal dress. And this way will be better because when you normally see a shirt, the back part of your shirt is always much higher than the front of the shirt, okay? So there goes your template to cut out okay next thing you want to do is with this terry cloth you want to cut this in half so as you can see this is going to be the back part and this will be the front part of the dress okay because it's going to be a double layer so as you can see one side will sew on this side, one side will sew on this side, and then it will get tied on the side so you can have it hang over your oven door or your dishwashing door. Okay, so now I just wanna take my 
ruler and I want to cut this. So I know that the crease right here is halfway. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to cut right down in the middle. Okay. So there goes my two pieces. So now what I want to do is move these to the side. And I want to bring in my material. And I don't think I show you the material that I'm going to use, but I'm going to use this material right here, these hearts. And I just fell in love with this pattern. It's so vibrant, so beautiful. I got this from joannes.com online and it is gorgeous. So you want to cut two of these, okay? And then you want to also cut the same time your craft fuse. And I'm going to iron this on to my fabric. Now remember, the rough side, as you can see, is shiny. That goes down on the fabric. Because this is to stabilize the dress. So it would be a little bit more stiff. Okay, so after I iron on the fuse, I put the pattern right on top. And I trimmed it out, as you can see the shape. Now, I want to open this up because you want to cut the middle out. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep on cutting all the way around. And then I'm going to open it up and then cut the other side, which is lower. Okay? Okay. So you cut that part out. Now, as you can tell, the back part still got a little bit more cutting to do. So what you want to do is open this up. And line this up. And finish cutting it out. Making sure everything is straight. Then I think I'm going to fold this in half. And then I'm going to trim that out. Okay. Next step is to sew both pieces together with the quarter inch seam allowance before adding the terry towel. Next, what you want to do is take your towel without no lint, of course. And you want to kind of Crease it up. You want to make one fold there. Then you want to make another one a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this right here and pin it. Then I want to do another one. And I'm just going to go and pin this right here. Then I'm going to do the other side the same way. Okay. And then I want to crease it one more time. Just like that. And I'm going to pin this right there in the middle. Then I'm going to adjust this one. So now what you want to do is set your pleats. Make sure that this is the same size as you want it over here. So then I want to do the same on the other side and that looks even. So now what I want to do, I want to fold this over. And what I'm going to do is I am going to sew straight across all the way across. Okay. And this is what it should look like. 
just like that. Now you want to do the same for the other side. Oh, wow. I thought I was still recording when I was doing the rest of the dress. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to walk you through the rest, okay? So, as you can tell, it's two-sided, okay? So, it's double material. I end up putting a ribbon, and I put a fishtail at the end. And for you to keep them from fraying, you want to cinch them with a little bit of fire, okay? And... I put that right down there. I end up doing a trim around the collar with the same material. What I end up doing was just cutting out a piece which was two inches and turning it into bias tape so I can have a full coverage of it. And I thought when I sold it, I thought I had it perfect. But you guys probably won't even see that because when you're hanging it up, at least for my liking, you know. But you guys just make sure that that is perfectly seamed. Either put your seam on the side or somewhere where you won't be able to see that. And then, as you can see the back, I did not put no ribbon on the back. But I did put a ribbon on the inside. And that is to tie the dress onto the oven stove. And you can either tie it into a bowl or you can just one knot it, whichever way you would like. You could just do one and knot it again. And I think that's what I'll do. Okay. So to do that, just fold it in half. And cut it at an angle. And then you could get the fish tails just like that. So, there goes my dress, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. You can do so many different colors. You can go by season. You can do so many things. And this decorates your kitchen to be pretty awesome. Okay, guys? So I'm going to show you guys how it looks on my stove. I really like how it came out. And you can make so many guys. So definitely you think outside the box. And there are great gifts for holidays. For your grandma. For your mom. You know, I mean. Anything your heart desires, guys. I'm just clipping off the leftover string. So, thank you guys. And now I'm going to show you how it looks on my stove. Okay, guys. Here goes the finished product. This is exactly how it looks. You can embellish it a little bit more. Or you can do other things. But this is the dress towel that I made for the stove. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Bye.